Hey, what's up students? Let's talk about section 9.5, completing the square. So before we fill out the examples, let's take a look at what we're talking about. So completing the square, what are you talking about? Well, we were talking about those perfect square binomials. Remember, when you take a binomial times itself, like x plus 7 squared, that really means x plus 7 times x plus 7. So when you take a binomial times a binomial, remember we'd use a 2 by 2 polybox, right? So there's the x squared, there's a single 7x, there's another 7x, and there's a 49. So remember the shortcut <clears throat> all the way from chapter 8 is that if you see x plus 7 squared, you would start with a square, you would square the first thing, x squared, you would square the second thing, 49, 7 squared, and then there'd be a double combo in the middle, because remember this would always happen. There's always be two of them, okay? So what's happening today is that we're going to give you a x squared, we're going to give you the middle number, and then we're going to not give you this, okay? So you need to figure out what goes there, okay? What's missing? Well, 14 is the clue, okay? Since there was two sevens, if you chop the 14 in half back to one of the sevens, and then you square it, you'll get 49. That's basically the method, okay? You want to look at the middle number, you want to chop it in half, and then you want to square it to get to this dude. So look at these ones, okay? These are all missing the square. So this is called completing the square. because so we're trying to complete this. We don't have, we're missing this piece right here. Okay, if we're missing that, okay? So here's what you do. You look at the middle number, you chop it in half, and then you square what's left over, okay? So four divided by two is two, square it, well, it turns right back into four. That's kind of a weird one, okay? So square completed, okay? Next one, six divided by two equals three, square it, nine, okay? Negative 8, ooh, careful now. Negative 8 divided by 2 is a negative 4. Now make sure, remember friends, when it's negative, we use brackets. Okay? If you ever square a negative without a bracket, you are not doing the right math. Make sure you square negatives in brackets. 16, notice that they're all plus. Okay, we always end with a positive square with these situations. Okay, next one. 10 divided by 2 equals 5. Squared, 25. There you go. Okay? That's about it. That's how you complete the square. The next step is to take these completed squares and to reverse them back into their binomial counterparts, okay? Well, the nice thing is, is that this number right here can kind of help you also rewrite them as a perfect square, okay? So this top one, this one actually used to be x plus 2 squared, okay? Right there, see that? So that's the rewritten as a binomial because you need to do this part too. So you'll need to complete it and then rewrite it, okay? This one used to be x plus 3 squared, this whole thing, okay? All three of these pieces used to be this. Again, refer to this, okay? <clears throat> this one, minus 4, this one used to be x minus 4 squared. And then this one used to be x plus 5 squared. Okay, so if you need more examples, see me, otherwise that's the pattern, okay? You complete the square and then you rewrite it as the perfect square. Complete it, rewrite it, and then we can move on from there. Okay, next example is coming in hot.